Hi, my name is Ruan and this is the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Welcome back to my channel, my 4,000 subscribers. Someone tell me what that's all about, please, because I do not understand why 4,000 of you guys want to sit there and listen to me gabble on because... I'm not being funny, but I don't exactly have the best content, do I, out of all the sewing YouTubers, to be honest. But I do need to get better with that. Um, but as you know, it takes time to do all of that really good stuff. So I just come on here, click my phone on and uh, rabbit on without actually having prepped anything. Well, saying that not prepped, I have actually scribbled some things down today because I forget all the time. So I just quickly scribbled them down because I think last time I was like, oh, I bought some patterns and what were they? Can't I remember? No, no, no. Anyway, so I'm back from a holiday, so the passport arrived, we jetted off to Turkey for 11 days, people. I mean, I knew it was more than seven days, but I'd forgotten how long it was, and it was awesome. I'm not very brown. I don't lift this up. So, I mean, I, sometimes I come back whiter than I actually went, because I've got two young children, and uh, sitting in the sun does not quite work when you've got young children. Unfortunately, you have to get involved, you know, and go down slides and things like that. I mean, why would anybody want to do that? I loved it. So we've had a wonderful time. We've been away. We've recharged our batteries, which was exactly what we all needed as a family. And we just had some quality time together and it was brilliant. So, yeah, back to life now. And no doubt within a few days, I'll just forget I'd even been on holiday. I'm not complaining. The weather was beautiful. The last day was the only day that we had rubbish weather and we were leaving anyway, so that was fine. Um, and then we came home to it absolutely lashing down in the UK as well. And it was just, we went on a late night flight that we said we'd never do again. And then we did it. And now we're like, we'll never do it again, again. Um, yeah, two young children on late night flights is just, it's not good. But do you know what? It was worth every minute of it. So yeah. Fabulous. If I remember, I will try and put a few photos up as I'm <laughs> rabbiting on about my holiday. Um, so, yeah, it was really, really good. Um, before I left sewing wise, I'll try and talk about sewing now. Um, I did whiz up a couple of tops because time's just been against me big time. Um, just not a chance to do anything, basically. And I knew I was going on holiday for a while. So I was having a serious moment really of I haven't said anything for ages and I really want to sew so I so so how many times can I say so I cut out a couple of really quick patterns um of which I haven't taken photos of yet you know what I'm like one of them was like a summery top I did wear it on holiday and forgot to take photos I'm absolutely rubbish on my Instagram grid at the moment I'm sorry um, I can't even say normal service will resume soon because it probably won't, so I'm not guaranteeing anything. But I've got one of them here to show you. Let me go out of shot, come back here. Ah, no, back in the room. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I quickly whipped up a Stellan tea. Um, let me show you the pattern. Stellan tea. It's a free pattern um, by French Navy Patterns. And I discovered this one when I was going to be doing the t-shirt challenge for So Joey. Um, but I never got round to this one. I found quite a few um, and printed them out or cut them out, the patterns themselves, but never actually got round to sewing more than a couple, I don't think. But I really wanted to sew something fast. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And I had this um, cotton jersey fabric from Rainbow Fabrics. And this was my first ever purchase from them. And I remember Tamlin from Sewn on the Tine had purchased some. And it, it was dirt cheap. It was like 3 99 a metre or something. And I was like, <laughs> animal print. I'm having some of that. So I ordered a couple of metres of it. Um, just thinking, well, you know, knock it up into something. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because it wasn't really expensive. But do you know what? It sewed really, really nicely. Um, and I had some leftover black ribbing, so I did that round the neckline because it's not got an awful lot of stretch. This cotton jersey is not a lot of elastane in it. I don't know, you know, the composition of it or anything, but it's this lovely, like, forest green with um, black, like, Dalmatian spots all over. Um, so, yeah, just quickly whipped it up on my overlocker. That's why there's, I mean, I'm all for the rainbow overlocking at the moment, guys. And look away if you are easily offended for at least five seconds. 
that's the label I put in it. Because it is, isn't it? So it is the bleeping best. Um, I didn't lengthen this, which is unusual for me because you know I'm a giant. Um, but I quite like a cropped t-shirt and do you know what? It's perfect length for me. It kind of, you might not be able to see it very well here, but it kind of curves in like that. It's really nice. And I know a lot of people don't like a zigzag edge around their t-shirt um, neck bands, but I, I love a zigzag. I love a zigzag. Um, part of that is because I can't be asked to get out um, my twin needle and do all that jazz as well. I love a twin needle, but I actually prefer um, a zigzag. I might be weird because I don't think many people do, but I think I cut this out and got it sewn up in like, I don't know, just over an hour. So it was a really quick, simple make. But I like the size and everything of this on me. I did a, let me have a look, an XL, which is their size 16, which was perfect on the bust, but on the waist and hips was actually smaller than my measurements. But I'd heard a lot of people say it's quite oversized. So I was all right. It actually fits really, really well. And I've got a funny feeling I might whip a few more of these up because I think they're a really good staple. What I'd like to do, hear me out, is buy loads of plain fabric and make loads of plain t-shirts so that then I can mix them with other things. But the likelihood of that is probably zero. <sighs> I'd like to make some really nice cardigans with patterned fabric, but I can't because everything that I own is patterned. She says wearing quite a plain top today, but it's because it's so cold out there. I've had to throw a ready to wear jumper on and this is the snuggliest thing ever. Um, so yeah, I mean, what do we think? Do we think I'll I'll do a load of them? But I can imagine having like five of these, like a white, a grey, a black, a blush pink. Do you know what I mean? That type of thing. Just throw it on with anything. Mm. Oh, I mean, how many ideas have I got for things to make that, or not make? I, kept, I was thinking to myself the other day, I talk about things on this channel all the time and then people are like, oh, did you get round to making that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, did you make your pink check blazer? No, because <laughs> I'm full of great ideas. I like talk the talk, but I don't walk the walk, do I? Because I just don't have enough time. But I would recommend that. Um, good instructions. I mean, obviously, it's just a basic tea anyway. So, yeah, more than happy with that. I will be making more of those. And a free pattern, guys. Why not? It's not the most size inclusive. I mean, the biggest bus size is a 42-inch um, waist 35, which I'm more than. Um, and a hips of 44, which is exactly my hip measurements. Probably not since I've been back from holiday, guys. <laughs> Let's just stay in denial for a little bit longer, shall we? Um, and it only takes up 90 centimetres of fabric. Oosh, brilliant. So when you've made a jersey dress and you've got some left over, you can knock one of these out or some knickknacks sorted. I'm going to put that away in my little... Oh, and the other thing that I made, but I haven't... Got a proper picture of it yet is this and it's the grace top by friday pattern company now this was one of the two patterns that i told you i bought with a voucher that i'd got um and i couldn't remember what i'd bought basically so i had some money left over from my um so Haley jane unboxing voucher that i won um and i'd bought the loose cedar dress from friday pattern company to make my mum's dress so i had some left over so i bought this with it because I've seen, again, Tamlin sewn on the time um, and shown her from satisfaction wearing these tops and looking really good. I mean, I'm not being funny. I can't pull it off quite as, as well as those two do. <laughs> and it's quite big under the arm. So I might have to have a look at that. It's a bit big round the bust, so I might size down on the bust next time, but keep the rest um, as it is. And I might shorten it because it was really long. So you should be able to then get this out quite a decent smallish size of fabric as well. So when I've got some proper pictures of that, again, God knows when. Might be next summer now, mightn't it? I will show you. But yeah, the other thing that I got, the other pattern that I got was the True Bias Shelby dress. I'm looking down like that because I've written it down because you know I'm like, I always forget. So I got the True Bias Shelby dress as well. So I'm into my dresses now, as you know, never used to wear dresses. Now I absolutely love them since I started sewing. Um, and I've seen so many people wear the Shelby dress. I'll put a picture up here for anybody who doesn't know what it is, but you probably do. And you can do it in like a romper or a dress. And I've seen loads of people do it as a dress, then a little slip on a little black belt with it. So I'm like, I think that might be what I have to do. 
Um, so yes, I got that as well. When I was in Turkey, when you're in Turkey or you're on holiday, it doesn't mean you can't buy stuff, does it? And obviously we got to bed quite early because of the kids. So I thought while the kids are in bed, I'll just have a little browse because I've got a Lamalzi voucher that I got for my birthday and I haven't spent it yet. And I know I said I was going to keep it to buy fabric for trousers, but I got distracted. And just hear me out though. Right, let me move this because I've got that to show you as well. So I have seen so many people making stuff with the um, Atelier Brunette Neroli sweatshirt in. <sighs> A mouthful. I didn't even look down at my pad for that, did I? And um, so Amelia has made something out of it. Um, Secret Life of a Seamstress, Sewing Bunny, a lot of them, and I've been incredibly jealous. And I procrastinated for ages. I'm always like this with expensive fabric, don't know why. Um, I say to myself all the time, I'm just not going to buy as much fabric, I'm just going to buy real quality fabric, but smaller amounts. And then there's a sale on a rainbow fabric. Kilburn and I'm like, whoa, got lots of all, all that, please. 20,000 metres of stuff for 40 quid. But to be fair, that is really good quality as well, so I can't really say it isn't. But anyway, I'm waffling. I'd really, really wanted this fabric for ages, and I'd seen um, Lauren from Guthrie and Garney to start off with. I'd made a jumper out of it, and I lusted over it for so long that it actually went out of stock everywhere. <laughs> uh. So I'd watched um, So Amelia's vlog um where she'd made up the jumpers um i was just like, oh my god that's it no i've made my decision now she looks incredible i'm just getting it um and then i went to get it and it was gone so then when i was on holiday i saw that lamarcy fabrics had got it in and i've got a voucher look at me trying to justify all the justifications so i treated myself to a meter and a half of this beautiful fabric i love how lamarcy fab uh, put their little packages together and they're all rebranded now as well which is just beautiful look at that how cute is that and it says make beautiful oh i will i will so i had a 40 pound voucher which covered the fabric that i needed however it was free delivery if you spent over 60 quid who am i to argue with that so this is the fabric so it's a soft, it says it's French terry and it is because it's loop backed, but it is like the inside of a fluffy sweatshirt as well, of sweatshirting. It's really, really weird. And how everybody describes it is absolutely right in the fact that it's quite a thin jumper fabric, which I really like. Um, so it would be perfect for this time of year. You're not going to be overly hot in it, but it, you'll still be snuggly but I just love it. Now, there is also a midnight version of this, which is a really, really dark grey, almost charcoal colour, which is beautiful. And I know I probably should have got that colour away. I have two young children. However, this is the one that spoke to me. You know what I'm saying? This is the one from the very beginning when I saw Lauren um, wearing it, that I was like, oh my God, I need that. I need that so bad. And it's taken me this long to buy it. So I also treated myself to half a metre of the ribbing that matches it because I didn't want to have to try and colour match to any of these um, blush and the sage green and the little, um, like, they're like a dark terracotta brown. They're just, I just love the colourways in this. It's just, oh, I love it so much. So I need to do it justice. So I need to make sure that I choose my jumper pattern correctly. Now I've made the Grain Line Studio... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Linden sweater. And I'm just not a fan. It looks incredible on everybody else. And I just don't like it on myself. So it's not going to be that. I've made the Jarrah sweater by Megan Nielsen. And I really liked that. And there's a couple of different versions of that. And I've also made the Sewer 7 toaster sweater version 2 with the high neck. And I quite fancy the, um, the larger neck one. But I've got a funny feeling that that is, um, what do you call it when the seams have come across here? Oh God, my memory's shocking today. Anyway, I think it's that that doesn't suit me. I'm not sure. So I'm worried that if I try a pattern in a different version than I've already made, I might be disappointed. And, but the other, the other potential is to make a South Bank sweater jumper as well. 
So I've got a few options. Tell me what you think would be best for this fabric. I've got a metre and a half, so it should pretty much cover everything. I'm starting to think the South Bank sweater, actually, because I absolutely love my dress version. But then I wouldn't have needed the ribbing, would I? Because then the neck and everything would be. Oh, I don't know. Tell me what you think, people. Answers on a postcard. And then to get it up to the next amount of fabric, I've been looking at this for a long time. Um, Rifle Paper Company. Always want to say Dashwood Studio when I say that. I don't know why. They don't even sound the same. But you know when you just have a mental block all the time? That's me with this. Rifle Paper Company. Now, I love their aesthetic. I love every single pattern I think they've ever designed, they've ever brought out. And... But I really like viscose rayon fabrics. I like flowy fabrics. So I went for this one. And they've got this in three colourways. And it literally took me about an hour to decide. I had all three of them in my cart and then I kept deleting whichever one out. So they've got this in a midnight blue. Then they've got it in this colour here, which was stunning. But I was kind of like, would that be more summery? And then they've also got it in, they haven't really got it on here, um, like a dark red and it's beautiful and it looked really Christmassy and I was like oh my god I don't know which one to have but I absolutely love a floral on a dark background so this one out in the end um oh let me turn it around so yeah that is what it looks like and I just think it's stunning the colours and everything in it and obviously it's got pink and red in it so I'm about to like it aren't I but just look at the selvage on this. I've only just noticed it while I'm um, looking at it. Look at the selvage as well on that. Isn't that pretty? Just wondering if I could maybe use that somehow, maybe as a label or something. I don't really want to get rid of that. I think I might cut that selvage off and keep it for something. Um, it's a bit too pretty, isn't it, to cut off and get rid of? So I want to make a blouse out of this, but I can't decide which one. Again, you know what I'm like, procrastinator. I really like the new Friday Pattern Company blouse. What's that called? Palisade blouse with the sharp collar. But I'm thinking just use a pattern you've already got, for goodness sake. So yeah, any ideas, people, what sort of blouse I should make with this? I just don't want to ruin it. It was expensive and I'm like, don't ruin it, Ruan, whatever you do. But I just love it. It's beautiful. So I still managed to buy fabric while I was over there. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to do a fabric ban because there's no point. And as soon as I say that I'm doing a fabric ban, I go into absolute panic mode and start buying all sorts of random fabric I don't even need. But I really would like to now only buy winter type fabrics. So stuff for this season. Um, But we'll see. But I am going to try and do a bit of sewing from my stash now. Other things that I have... um got recently but they are actually for Christmas so I've spoiled myself again I had a voucher for my birthday so I treated myself to the Kylie and the Machines advent calendar so this is the advent calendar that has all of the um waving labels in it so if you turn it around here you can see look so you get 66 um, woven labels, which is a lot of labels, isn't it? When you think you only normally get six in a pack. So that's like 10 packs of labels. Um, some of them are centre fold ones and some of them are um, side seam ones and some of them are end fold ones. And then you get two iron on patches as well, which are, I think, exclusives. So um, I'm super excited to start opening that. I'll show you a little sneak peek though inside. You might have seen it all over Instagram. Um, but that's what it looks like inside. It's beautiful, isn't it? And you know, my mum doesn't buy me a chocolate advent calendar anymore because she buys them for my kids. <laughs> Rude. So a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And uh, I used my voucher and purchased it. But then, <laughs> watching the live with um, Keris and Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, they then said that they were doing an advent calendar. And then I've seen another one the other day as well on Instagram. I'm like, no, you are not allowed. So I bought this with my own money. You know, it wasn't a voucher. There is no excuse for this. I just got it because 
I loved it. And I've got to now not, I'm trying not to even look inside it. So it's sealed people up. There is a sticker on it, look. Little reindeer. And I'm not even looking in it. So on the subject of Christmas, I mean, I'm allowed to say it now, it's November, isn't it? Um, last year, I watched quite a lot of sewing YouTubers do Vlogmas. And I absolutely loved it. Um, particularly Michelle from Sewing Bunny. I used to get up in the morning, put my makeup on and watch her Vlogmas from the day before. And I used to just love it because I'm nosy. <laughs> I'm a nosy bugger. I can't help it. I want to see into people's lives. I want to see what they're doing personally. I want to get to know the people. So um, I was wondering if anybody would be interested if I did it. Now, I can't guarantee that I'd be able to do something every day. I mean, my life's probably not interesting enough to do something every day in December. However... I was thinking maybe I could do a few bits through the week and then maybe just upload a vlog, a weekly vlog mess, maybe. Um, not sure. What do you think? Let me know. Um, I mean, you won't be interested in the days where I'm literally in my pyjamas with my hair scrunching up like I've been dragged backwards through a bush and no makeup on. Um, or will you, you crafty, crafty people? Um, but I thought I could maybe do a little bit, um, a bit more of an insight into my personal life as well as my um sewing life so let me know if that's something you would be interested in or if you're like that bore off Ruan as if we don't see enough of you anyway on here um yeah let me know so I've got a few bits to do this week I've got some fabric swaps I need to do so I'm doing a swap of last month's So Hayley Jane fabric with the lovely Linda um uh Granny Linda sews so she really fancied the mauve colour and I like the mauve and the pink at uh, the blue so I said I don't mind swapping with you I'll swap you no problem so we're gonna post each other um the double gauze fabric so I'll have the blue one to make some pyjamas with hopefully you know not that I'm obsessed with double gauze pyjamas or anything um and then I've also got there's another lady that I've been speaking to on um Instagram who is massively into her fat quarter she really loves making craft products um so we're just in the process of potentially swapping over some fabric she's got some fabric that she's like that ah, do you know what i won't use this uh, more like dressmaking fabrics and i've got loads of fat quarters so we're like hey let's do a swap so we're working on that as well and then there was a lovely lady on my last so Haley jane unboxing vlog who said i think did she say she'd paused her subscription i can't remember anyway and then when she saw the fat quarters on um boxing videos she was like oh my goodness I'd have my daughter would have absolutely loved the fat quarters now I'll show you them the ones I mean now I won't have any need I don't think for unicorn ones so um I contacted Lucy and just said look I've got loads of fat quarters <laughs> would you like them to make something for your daughter and she said oh my god yes please so I've just got to do that as well so I'm going to be doing a big post office trip this week with loads of different fabrics to send to people and then receive some back in return. So that'd be nice. So yeah, let's see what happens then. Let's see how um, long it takes me to get to 5,000 subscribers. Maybe I should do a giveaway. What do people think about giveaways? Hmm, just like a personal one, not one where I'd have to go and like beg people for prizes and stuff like I did with the frugal fox thing because I need to reserve that for next year in case we do it again um but yeah maybe something like that might be quite nice just to say thank you but I do really appreciate it I appreciate every single one of you that clicks on that subscribe button um and watches me and comments below I love reading the comments it's taking me a bit longer to get back to people at the moment um just because life is hectic and the more subscribers obviously you get the more people that comment but I always try to reply to everybody um, because I do really appreciate it. So I don't know what I'm going to sew next. I really don't know. I quite fancy making a Cali shirt and something else. Oh, I really would like to make the long version of the live address in like a nice flowy viscose fabric for my Christmas do. Not going to be like a big Christmas party type thing. It's going to be more like a meal and everything. And I thought that might be really nice in one of my um, viscose fabrics that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. So I think they're gonna be probably up on my cutting table next. Um, but I do need to think about that because I'm itching to sew right now. In fact, do you know, if I could have taken my sewing machine all the way to Turkey while the kids were in bed at night time, I could have been doing that on the balcony, couldn't I? 
I'm sure that would have really um, made everybody, my neighbours, happy. So, yeah, um, I will be mostly um, watching my diet for the... <laughs> for the foreseeable future to try and work off some of these extra pounds that I've put on so I can at least fit in my clothes. Um, I don't even do my measurements right now. don't really want to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to make things to my old measurements and hope for the best. Probably very silly of me to do that, I know, but you know, we have to dream, don't we? But I hope everybody's all right. I hope everybody else has had time to sew. I hope we're all happy. Count down to Christmas, people. Oh my God, need to really sort myself out. Um, but yeah, um, let me know if you are making stuff for people for Christmas as well, if you've got any ideas, because I always think that's really nice to do that for people as well as gifts. So if anybody's got any ideas of Christmas things that they're doing for people, then let me know below as well. And hopefully I'll try and catch up with some proper content of maybe what I'm planning on making and or maybe stuff that I have made rather than just blethering on like this. But we'll see. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but take care, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.